let me set the scene for a little minute. Um, a few months ago, I started thinking about or, or started building the um, fuel tanks for Frankenstein. I didn't get very far then. I'd, I'd, I'd formed out the aluminium and got it ready for um, welding, but I hadn't quite really nailed down all the little particulars that I wanted. So um, I ended up doing other stuff and just letting that sit there for a bit. And, um, but now, now we have to do it. So um, watch along. Okay, it's been a few months since I started those tanks and we've done a lot of things in between. But now my attention's back on the tanks and we have a new plan. <laughs> So first off, I haven't welded the sides up. Uh, that's on my to-do list, or get someone to do it because I'm not really a good welder. Um, but I also, before we did that, I wanted to make this little bit of a sump here. So these two points in here will be my fuel pickup and my fuel drain. And I figured I'd have the lowest point possible in the tank. So we had to press that out, make a little form block and give it a bit of a squeeze in the vise. And um, also, it sticks out of the belly, um, not the belly skin, but the, the underside skin of the wing. So we made a little cutout for it, so the, the tank will actually stick outside of the wing a little bit, and then you'll have direct access to the drain like that. Yeah, so that's what we've done there. Also, on the top of the tank, um, We've done some measurements and all that sort of stuff and made this cutout for, um, that's my fuel sender. I've got a mechanical fuel sender. So that's this one here. Isn't that cool? So I just need to get a, um, oh, I don't know, push by cable to link onto that. And then I'll make a little scale on the, um, on the um, jury strut or something like that. So that's that. And then this, this cutout here is where I can get access into the tank to do up these little bolts and then reach down the back corner to where the um, fuel pickup is. Also, this little panel here, this will sit, sit like that, roughly. And that's where my fuel cap will be. I just gotta cut him out now. And then we gotta put the anchor nuts in. Once that's done, then this whole tank can be welded up. Um, it's all been trimmed down to suit. I'll do that on the other side as well because now that I've got this I'm going to use this as a pattern for the other side even though the edges might need trimming down to make it fit properly. So um, that's what the plan is now. Here we go. So another minor, well not so minor setback is I can't get these tanks welded up in my local area. There's I've made a mistake of using too thin a material and um, there's a couple of other things that they prefer, so <clears throat> not going to happen. So I either have to start over again with um, much thicker material to get welded up or I'll come up with some other plan. So the plan I've come up with, instead of welding the edges together and all of that, I'm going to bond them with glue and then we'll run some sealant over it later on. So what I need to do now to get these walls fastened to the edges here, is I'm gonna to have to make up a whole bunch of um, edge member brackets that'll go all the way around, and then we'll be able to bond that onto, this, onto them. Yeah, it's gonna be a bit of work, I think, um, but we'll give this a go and see what happens. Fun times. All right, all of the edge members are formed up and in place. So all I've got to do now is um, put it in the wing again and make sure it all sits in nicely. And then I'll drill off the top skin and so it all matches. And then we pull it all apart, clean it all up and prep it for gluing.
Okay. Yes, there's only a couple of holes there at the moment, but that's a good starting point. So, like I said, there's a little bit of work on this corner here that I wanted to do, and it's easier on the bench. But um, we've got enough information there to continue. All right, all drilled off, ready to go. So I'm pretty happy with how all that lined up. A little bit of work here and there, but I think that'll pull up quite nicely. So now, all we have to do is pull it completely apart, clean it all up, and do the surface prep for the, for the bond. Yay! All righty then. Everything's glued up except for the lid. So um, I didn't take any video of the whole process, mainly because once you mix this glue, you've only got a limited amount of time before it really starts to go off, so you really can't get distracted. But anyway, trust me, glue went everywhere, stuff happened. Um, they're the pots there that I left over, so I'll just leave them out. When they go off proper, I'll know that the mix was good. And then we can handle the, this tank and I'll go around and seal all the edges up with some sealant and put the fuel supply in and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, so far, so good. Righto. Next morning, let's just see how that, oh yeah, that's coming good. So that's almost cured there now, that's good. All right, that means we can test fit this in the wing, make sure it all still fits, and um, then we'll go from there. That fits quite nicely. Nothing buckled or twisted while we were doing the gluing and riveting. So happy with that. Now all I've got to do while the lid's off, before I put this top skin down, I'm gonna go and run a bead of sealant around all of these edges here. It's probably a, you don't, probably don't need to do that, but now's the time to do it while the lid's off and there's good access. Righto, fuel tank sealant is applied to all of the edges, around on the inside, all the rivet tails, and on the outside, rivet heads, and fuel tank fittings were put in. So I just gotta let that all cure now. Such a messy job, not fun. Not a fan of the gooping. Anyway, we're done. We'll let that cure and I'll work on the, on the top piece. All right, I snuck in here last night after dinner and glued the lid on. So, um, looks like that's gluing nicely. So I'll just clean that up a little bit now. And then we've got to glue um, this lid and where the fuel sender goes. So we'll goop that down tonight. And then we can, uh, once that dries, clean it all up and then we can do a pressure check. Righto, after dinner again, I'm gonna get in there and we'll glue or seal those um, these little panels down this one and this one will go down in these bits and we'll mix up some sealant and get into that all right all gooped up it's not the prettiest thing you'd ever see but it's going to look fine at um i don't know a thousand feet with a cover over it and uh, as long as it doesn't leak so yes, well, once that dries tomorrow or something like that, I'll have a look over and clean it all up and then we can go on to the leak check. So I'll um, get a balloon and we'll stick it on, on the filler side of the fence and then from under here, we'll pressurize it and make the balloon go up and then I'll get some squirty soapy water and squirt around all the edges and see if there's any bubbles. And if there is, I'll probably cry and start drinking again. But anyway, let's see how we go. Okay, all glued up, all sealed up. So now the test is to do a leak check to make sure I've, um, there's no holes in it anywhere. So what we've done, I've got a little balloon here um, sealed over the cap and I've set up the, a hose in here and we'll just pressurize that and we'll let it sit. I'll put that in there. All right, here we go. Out 
and now we wait. <laughs> we have success. No leaks. Um, while it was pressurized with my little balloon there, I went around and squirted soapy water over every corner and every rivet and everything. And we got no leaks. So now we get to fit it to the wing properly. Right, hey boys and girls, that's it. Look at that. That actually turned out better than I thought. Still not a fan of gluing and sealant. Didn't really want to do that. But anyway, we're here. She's locked in. That's the push rod for the trailer and that's gonna, I haven't connected it, so it's probably a little bit wobbly, but we'll do that in a minute. Um, these little clamps will lock it all down in place and and transfer all the earthing through the through the airframe. Got my earth point, don't forget that. See, there we go. Um, a little bit close here, so I'm gonna have a little bit of a challenge here because I'm gonna run a cable, push pull cable from here, which will connect to my um, my fuel sender. And the cable's gonna run down to an indicator near the, near the fuse leaf there, so it's gonna be a little bit tight through here. Anywho, we'll worry about that some other time. Let's screw that lid on and have a look, huh? Righto, cover panel is on, all done up. A uh, few lumps and bumps here and there, just to make it all fit. The beauty of a hand-built aeroplane, we put that down to. Could do with a couple more polishes, I think, um, just to get that shine a little bit better, but pff, I think that's got some other time written all over that. Uh, all right, yeah, so that's got a breather in the cap itself, if anyone wants to know. There's our earth point for refueling. The little lump here, that's where the fuel sender is, so the, um, it'll connect onto a cable there and then it'll go off down to the aeroplane somewhere. That's on my to-do list. Once the wing's attached to, their, to the fuse leaf, we'll worry about that. But uh, yeah, there we go. Just like that, huh? Simple, really? <laughs> all right i think i'll finish the video off there um with only one tank made i've still got the other tank to go and make that yet but um really it'll be the same process all over again so if you really want to see me um build the other tank just um re-watch this video so what i'll do next is we'll take this wing and we'll take it down to the airport where the airplane is that way i can get this wing down and we'll build the other tank and clean it all up and get it ready. With those done, that's that's the last major job left on Frankenstein um, before we put it all together and go flying. That only took 10 years. <sighs> yeah, that's that. Um, well, on that note, we'll see you soon. <laughs>